I'm going to be reading the little notes that I wrote down in this book. Okay, so I have my notes right here or whatever. And, okay. So, so the first one, this is flex. I'm going to show you my flex. At Central, we don't have like um, like the little key card to get in our room, but we do have like the little like a card to get in the room. No, that's just to get in the building or whatever. But this is what my flex thing look like oh my name yeah that's what it look like and this is the back go to fry whatever how flex work this is what nobody told me before i came and i wanted to know as a freshman you get 400 dollars worth of flex and flex is basically money that you can use on at the campus store not the bookstore but like the little convenience store at the restaurants and the food trucks but one thing I will say is them food trucks, the food will be good, but I just don't think the price be worth it. Like, boy, when I tell you the freaking prices be like $15 for six wings, some macaroni, and some fries. $10 me, please. I'm a little cheap, but whatever. So I work at those places or whatever, and it's just basically like this little thing where you go up and you tap the card on it. It's like black, and when it works, like a little blue line shows up. But yeah, that's how flex work. But when you go in the cafeteria, this is what I was worried about. When I go in the cafeteria to go eat lunch, breakfast, or dinner, is it going to take my some money up for my $500 off? No, it's not going to do that at all. That money is separate. That's just for your um for your food or whatever. But I know that the price for your food from the calf is like unlimited like meal plans. So it's not really, you won't run out of money. Like I have classes. So, as a nursing major, I have five classes with a nursing major. I don't know what I was thinking. Nursing major, you get no break, literally no break. You're always working. Like, I tried to go hang out with friends once. 30 minutes lasted me, and then I had to get right back to work. But, um, well, this semester is pretty much chill, but last semester, I had chemistry. Well, I got chemistry, but I had general chemistry, and it brought me through the mud. All I have to say is, if you're in a chemistry major or um, or nursing major, um, anything to do with STEM, really, make sure you know the periodic table, well, at least, like, you know most of it or is, like, learning, like, over the summer because I was then not really paying attention in class and the whole time. I'm sitting over here with a D for half of the semester because I didn't know that we was really like, most of our information came off the periodic table. Like, I didn't know that. But yeah, um, I do want to say that you need to make sure that you're leaving 10 to 15 minutes before class. I would say 15 because everything from our dorms is like, it's like 10 minutes like from, to your classes. With, um, well, I stayed in Eagleson last semester and it's George Street over there. It took me like 10 minutes to get to all of my classes. Well, when I'm going to the, um, the science building, it really took, I really like had to leave like 15 minutes early because it like took a lot of time or whatever. Um, on your first day, I say leave 20, 25 minutes early because the elevator go crazy. It goes crazy, and I had got locked out of the stairs because I was being impatient, and I went down the wrong stairs that's supposed to be for the fire drill, but it had a locked. So luckily, my roommate was in her room, but it took a favor to come get me. But yeah, um, yeah, that's what I have to say about classes. With nursing major, you have five classes like each semester, and not every major has that many classes. Like some majors have like two to three um classes um a semester and it's like days where some of those um some of those um people don't have classes or whatever so yeah um next i have recommended professors so first off i do want to say 
if something is going on, like, okay, basically, let me just say, read your syllabus because if you try to whine about something that you didn't know about, the only thing they're gonna say is go, I have it in the syllabus, go to the syllabus or whatever, unless they like, cause my English teacher, she don't put her assignments, like, I don't know, she, she weird. Ooh, let me not say that. She's not weird, but she's a different kind of professor. Just make sure you read your syllabus before you come to school because this is not high school. Nobody's going to care if you're whining about this and that or whatever. The professor is out of coil. Out of coil. He's a good professor. He taught good, taught well. And I got a B last semester, which I should have got an A, but you not me. Anyways, so yeah, I recommend him. I recommend my math teacher. I forgot her name, but I will put her last name up there. She was a good math teacher. She really worked with us or whatever. Like she had like practice exams and tests on the um on our like little thingy to where you didn't have to get grades. I recommend my English teacher. I'll put her name, her last name somewhere on the screen. She was a really good English professor. She really helped. And my thing is in college, English is not nothing like high school in college you barely doing english you barely doing anything on work all you're doing is talking 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 what well, the teacher talking 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 but yeah mr full father he wasn't a bad professor it's just you have to make sure that you're paying attention because no man waits for nobody yeah you have to make sure that you're paying attention because chemistry is a lot it's a lot of information and i passed this class by the grace of god because D's do not, you do not pass in college with D's. So you have to retake that class over. On campus restaurants, we got Chick-fil-A, we got Pizza Hut, Starbucks. In fall semester, they added some more restaurants. I think they said they added Appendix Rest and Moe's. And yeah, like I said, you can use your Flex there or you can use your money there. I do want to say that you need to be wise with your money because by the last month of last semester, baby, I was over here struggling. Struggling trying to stay up with my money. And it's like, okay, I boom, I got $400. But it's like, most of your meals are like almost $10 here. <laughs> do not drop your tray, your plate, or nothing in the cafeteria because you're going to be looking up to people clapping at you. And people have said that is not a good experience and they do not want to experience that at all. So that's like some kind of form of embarrassment. I would say before class start, even by yourself, like just try to go walk around to see where your classes are. Because I used the GPS the first day to get to my first class and I did not, I thought I was going the right way, but I was going the wrong way. So I did not go to that first pit because I did not want to walk in late. And then I want to say to make sure that you're by your class at like five minutes early because I'm my first. other class i came like right before class started like one minute before and apparently before that he told people that they was going to be in the next class over which is bigger than the other one so yeah so he told them that they was gonna we was gonna be in the next class over because it was bigger and we had too many people in the class or whatever I will say that before anything, before you go out and party and stuff like that, if you think you have enough time to get back to your room, because people like to have after plans after the club. They like to go back to their room and chill, go to the next place and chill, go out to eat and chill, do what they want to do afterwards. So, yeah, make sure you studying and working. I would at least say study for your classes as much as you can. You need to study even when you're doing your homework and you're trying to cheat, you need to make sure that you're at least understanding something. These tests and stuff like that, it's like you can't even cheat how you cheated in high school unless like some of your classes are like online and stuff like that or whatever. But some, some um, classes like my, my human anatomy and physiology class this semester, we got proctor tests. And it's like it's really somebody watching you from the other side of the screen. So yeah, cheat if you want to.
college is not like high school you have to put in way more effort college grades are not high school grades so you might be calculating this but it's not going to be be that do not go off the grades that are in back blackboard go look at the syllabus and look at how many points that you need to have a certain amount of grade blackboard and Cengage is the main thing and emails is the main thing that we use in college um blackboard is exactly kind of like canvas i know like if you haven't used canvas i don't know what kind of school you went to then um at least once or tried it or heard about it yeah so like you might be thinking like it's out of 100 percent, but for some classes it's like 300 points and 1000 points and stuff like that for my general physiology class no my general psychology class to get an a it's a 324 and higher so yeah, so that's how that works. Black boys, where all your classes are, where your assignments will all be, where they're uploaded. Please do not upload, no, do not email no teachers, no assignments, unless, you know, they ask you to, or something happens where you have to discuss with them after the next class that the assignment was due to email them that or whatever. And yeah, you have to make sure you're in class listening to the due dates because Blackboard be having a whole freaking due dates weeks later when it could be due tomorrow. And it's like, you think you had all that time and two weeks later when it was due tomorrow. And nobody want to hear no complaining about how old that is and da 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 da. I'm trying to say all that whining and crying and calling your parents the blue girl. Um, how does the bookstore work? So, I know this semester and last semester we got a book voucher that was $750 where you basically got to go to the bookstore and, and in the back is where you get digital books, like all the way in the back you get digital books and get help with, um, you know, just all the digital stuff and stuff like that. In the bookstore, it do have like our clothes, like our, I got this from the bookstore. It do have like our clothes with like our logos on it and stuff like that it has like books that you need for classes and you can like rent books and stuff like that but yeah i will be putting a link in this video so that y'all can go check out this website where i've been like looking for my books for free and seeing most of them i'm gonna tell you even after you think you pay all of your financial aid and this and that you will still have fees that you have to pay like some teacher charge fees to be to access the um the class stuff like they use websites where you have to pay for college i had one thousand and something saved up just for those like moments and stuff like that because it don't stop I don't next i have organizations we do have many many organizations on campus um like we got dance organizations like just a whole bunch of programs for like black people we got like um oh yeah it's like this school takes so much pride in like um african i know it's like african-american but like african like culture and stuff like that this school takes so much pride in lgbtq or whatever and it's just like everywhere you go and like not um it's many many organizations i will have making friends i do want to say that try to bond with your roommate as much as you can because if you came home by the time you don't know nobody coming here y'all might be the only people that y'all have coming here honestly i would say that me and my roommate we do not have like a friend relationship at all it's just basically like we we just live together that's that's bad i do want to say join organizations because that's where you will find them 99 percent of your assignments will be due at 11 59 on the day that it's due 11 57 you need to be turning that thing in because at 11 59 if you ain't turned in you out of luck you're out of luck boy do not be one of these girls that get picked up by a cute nobody. I'm proud. Stevia, blinking up Stevia, got blinking up. Stevia, blinking up Stevia, got blinking up Stevia. I promise you, that's not going to be a good thing for you. Your name, nobody.
in your circle. As much as you think it's cute and oh, he picked me up and he look good and we grinding, bumping and grinding, don't be that bro. Do not get hypnotized by them cues doing all of that neck rolling, tongue licking, barking. I'm like, party promos if you want to be known around campus if you're that type of person that want to be known around campus or just want to have fun or you know that you're a party person you're on the promo team join the promo team it's lit i'm not on one but i'll be sending videos of them doing it but join one fast what i will say in college that half of your thing have to be paid um by the time school starts so like august 17th half of my bill was paid but by the this semester next semester 2022 um i had to pay the rest of it before class started because if not then you're gonna be dropped from your classes i recommend sharing a mini fridge because i bought my mini fridge and microwave and i share it with my roommate but it's just like at times like the fridge be full for both of us and we barely have any room to put our stuff and we'll say bring the tv i will say as a picky eater i don't really eat that much at college because like unless i go to the cab but I don't know, the cafe having the same stuff over and over. So it kind of gets tired after a while. Noobs are going to be your best friend. Noobs are going to be your best friend. Bring water bottles because, yeah, you're going to be thirsty. At source, be smart because, you know, if you're doing the puff puff pass on campus, make sure you're being smart. Um, because with stuff like that, police will be called and you will be taken to jail. It's no pleading in situations like that. So, yeah. I know some people put towels like in the bathroom and stuff like that and they cut the shower and that's how they smoke. Doors, you can go do what you want to do. You can come back any time that you want to so you do not have to, you do not have a curfew in stores. Only thing I will say is be back by 7 o'clock in the morning because around like 7.15 I think or even 8.15 we was going to breakfast. Um, the food at stores is alright. So make sure you bring your snacks and your own food if you want to follow me on instagram follow me on instagram um yeah if you want to follow me on twitter follow me on twitter i will be following back you know if you have any questions that you do not want to ask in the comments you can text me on instagram thank you guys for watching this youtube channel make sure you like comment share and subscribe send it to your friends welcome to the eagles nest class of 2026 and many many more to come